Our last movie was Kickboxer Retaliation, coming in the fall, where I got to work with uh, an icon, a legend actually. His name is Mike Tyson, and everybody knows him. And that was uh, quite an experience for me because, like, I've been watching him since I was a kid, kicking butt in the ring, and all of a sudden I get to meet and actually to do a fight scene with Mike Tyson, where he's throwing punches to my face. And you know what? I think that any boxing fan, anybody in the world that's watched him before, would love to be in my shoes. And that was uh, that's what I was telling myself. Um, a gentleman, super cool, very funny dude. Uh, we got along great and we got to do this awesome fight scene together where I actually got hit <laughs> and absolutely not to his full strength, not even close I'm sure, but I got to feel some of the wrath, the wrath of Mike Tyson where I got hit in the body a lot and uh, it was quite an experience. I'll tell you, if you're wondering how fast he is, like I've never seen punches come as fast as that in my life. So um, it was quite an experience. I really enjoyed it um, and I, you know, I'd do it again anytime. What's he like outside the ring? He's cool, man. He's like a, he's a joker. He likes talking about his family. He talks about his life, and he's just got you know what? He's lived so much and lived so much interesting stuff that it's um he's got these stories that you you, you wouldn't believe. You just you know every time you ask him a question about his career or whatever, he's got these great stuff. And actually, I, I think one of the, my favorite moments on set with them was when uh, we were doing these training sequences, and um, and where I got to actually like you're, you're there shadow box with Mike, and he's in front of you, and I'm in front of him, and we're going at it. And I got to ask him some questions about how he prepared for his fights and kind of his philosophy um, going into his fights. And, and you know what? I got some you know, I had some awesome sauce from the man himself, and uh, that was a very special moment for me. He has some pretty wild stories in his book. Has he calmed down now finally, or does he still have that side to him? No, nah, he's tame, man. He's very, very tame. I think he's very, uh, at, at this point of his life, he's very focused on everything going on with his family and his, his career right now, his comedy show. Where he was shooting, his, he was actually performing his comedy show while we were shooting Kickboxer Retaliation. <laughs> is, is he the main uh, antagonist in the movie, or is it uh, Mountain? Uh, no, it's Mountain. My, my character is actually a uh, mentor. He's a good guy. So he's, uh, he plays uh, a mentor to me, to my character in, in the movie, where he shows me something I need to learn to be, be able to beat the mountain, which is obviously um, how to generate more power in your strikes. That was his thing. He's a powerful, powerful man. So he shows me how to make sure I can punch hard enough to make to knock out the mountain. And is Jean-Claude Van Damme back in the second film? He is, yeah. Van Damme is back. He's back as Durand. Again, a mentor. So it's cool because Kurt Sloan in this film has two mentors. He's got one in Mike Tyson and another one in uh, in Durand, in uh, JCVD, which is really cool. And what was the mountain like to work with? <laughs> He's big, man. He's big. He's so, like, 420 pounds of muscle, with, you know, and he's six foot ten. Such a nice guy. Very, very cool guy. Uh, just enjoys being there. And we did like seven days of straight of fighting where I got beat up a lot and I got tossed around. Imagine like a guy like that taking me, I'm, and I'm 210 pounds, and he can actually throw me 12 feet. He threw me 12 feet out. It's, it's ridiculous the strength this guy had. But um, he's also very agile, which was really cool. So he ended up doing a great, great, great fight scene for the movie. Did you work out with him in the gym at all during the uh, <laughs> filming? You know, I didn't. I was, uh, we were so busy. I was on set every day, 12, 13 hour days. So it's pretty much nonstop on a shoot like this for me. Um, but you know what? I saw his, some of his training on Instagram where he was pulling trucks and stuff. And it's, it's just insane. It's insane. What can people expect for the second movie that have seen the first movie? What are the differences going to be? You can expect, uh, Everything on a grander scale, a bigger and better movie. I mean, a, a great, a fun story, a fun script, more badass characters, obviously. We have more fighters, more action action uh, actors in the movie, um, and then bigger, better action. That's really great. And I gotta tell you about this one scene, which is amazing, which is a one or four minute one or where um, I'm fighting 17 guys in a jail and uh, on two levels, and it lasts for four minutes. And you guys getting knocked out, knocked down, thrown over, like it's crazy. That's a really cool scene. It's funny enough, we shot that on day one, which was pretty insane. And uh, obviously a badass end fight uh, with the mountain, which is, has a lot of unexpected twists and turns. So it's really cool. And where is that movie going to be available and when? And people who haven't seen the first Kickboxer, Kickboxer Vengeance, where can they uh, watch that? So right now, Kickboxer Vengeance is available on uh, video. I think you can order it. Um, and in some stores, I believe Walmart has it. And you can get it, I think, on Netflix as well. And then Kickboxer Retaliation will be coming out on in fall 2017. Uh, date is yet to be announced, but it's either probably either going to be September or October, I believe. And uh, as soon as it's available, make sure you check online. Go on Facebook. If you go on the Retaliation Facebook, Facebook page um, just look for kickboxer retaliation you'll find the page and all the information is going on that page 
And for people that want to follow you on social media, where can they look for you? You can look for me on Facebook at uh, Alain Moussi Online, and then on Instagram and on Twitter as Alain Moussi, A-L-A-I-N-M-O-U-S-S-I. -S -S and who would you fight if anyone could uh, be in the third uh, of the Kickboxer series? If you could have your choice of like any monster bad guy to fight, who would it be? <laughs> um, I don't know. Good question. There's so many out there, you know. It's, uh, and I have my wish list. I have my wish list. I don't share it yet though because I want it to be a surprise. So, but what I did this time around for in preparation for Kickboxer 3 is I did a wish list of all the really cool fighters I would love to see in that movie. And uh, right now, all the producers are exploring that list, so I don't want to give it away, but you're, you have yet to see some other big names come in the, in the franchise.